Vegan Club Te. Hello and uh, welcome to part one of our CGS GSPS special event, Language, Indigenous Knowledge and Cultural Landscapes of the Ainu, Perspectives from Nibutani, Hokkaido. I'm Junko Habu, Professor of Anthropology and the Chair of the Center for Japanese Studies, CJS. And I'll be chairing this event today through to the early part of the next week. CJS is co-hosting this event with the Japan Society for the Promotion of Science, the Research Institute for Humanity and Nature in Kyoto, as well as with the Native American Student Development, the Archaeological Research Facility, the Department of Anthropology, and the Hearst Museum of Anthropology of UC Berkeley. Today, I am speaking from the campus of the University of California, Berkeley. I recognize that Berkeley sits on the territory of Huichen, the ancestral and unceded land of the Chocheo speaking Ohlone people, the successors of the historic and sovereign Verona band of Alameda County. This land was and continues to be of great importance to the Muwekuma Ohlone tribe and other familiar descendants of the Verona band. I recognize that the Berkeley community has benefited and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of this land. Now, recent discussions of indigenous rights highlight the critical roles that indigenous cultural landscapes, traditional knowledge, and uh, <clears throat> indigenous languages play in restoring the identity of indigenous peoples and promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion. In this special talk series, three distinguished speakers from Nibutani present lectures on their ongoing efforts and future perspectives to revitalize the Ainu culture, language, and uh, <clears throat> cultural landscapes. Each presentation is followed by comment from a scholar working on aspects of Ainu and or indigenous cultures and languages. Our speaker today is Mr. Kayano Shiro. Born in Nibutani, Biratori Town, Hokkaido, Mr. Kayano is director of the Kayano Shigeru Nibutani Ainu Museum. As many of you know, Mr. Kayano Shigeru was the first Ainu politician to sit in the Diet of Japan. Mr. Kayano Shiro, a speaker today, is also executive director of the Nibutani Ainu language class, member of the Biratori Town Council, president of the Ainu language pen club, and counselor of the Foundation for Ainu Culture. As an Ainu elder who has deep knowledge of Ainu culture and language, he has actively spoken up about indigenous rights of the Ainu, including the right to receive Ainu language education. And that this is what I'm really looking forward to here um, in his today's talk. Our discussion today is Professor Chie Sakakibara. Professor Sakakibara is of a Ryukyuan descent, an indigenous group of Southwestern Japan, including the Okinawan archipelago and its diaspora within and beyond Japan. Chie is a dynamic and extremely productive scholar in the discussion of community partnered research cultural solidarity of indigenous people, indigenous environmental knowledge, climate change, and cultural resilience. These research interests are all closely intertwined with the current discussion of decolonizing social and biological sciences in the United States and beyond. Her recent work, 
well snow, Inupiat climate change, and multi-species resilience in Arctic Alaska, University of Arizona Press 2020, was awarded the American Association of Geographers Meridian Book Award for outstanding scholarly books in geography. Mr. Kayano will first give his talk using PowerPoint slides. He will give his talk in Japanese and it will be interpreted by Ms. Beth Carey, who has been helping CJS many events in the past. You can submit questions at any point during this talk using the Q&A function. Please do not use the chat function. Because we do have an interpreter today, any conversations that take place in Japanese um, can be interpreted into English. So please welcome Mr. Kayano. So first, I am the Ainu language speaking. Iran Karate, Kaya no Shiro Sekoro Kurehean, Kanya Anakuni Nittai Kotanotta, Koapamaka Kuneva, Tane Kaya no Shiro Nibitani Ainu Shiro Kan Esapane Kuru, Neruene, Onnichiwa, Watashi no Nawa Kaya no Shiro Des, Watashi wa Hokkaido no Bilatori Cho Nibitani to you Shura Kuni Marimasta. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Kayano Shiro. Uh, I was born in uh, Nibutani village in Biratori town in Hokkaido. Currently, I'm the director of the Kayano Shigeru uh, Memorial uh, Institution. I, uh, here we go, Nibutani Ainu Museum. The Kayano Shigeru Nibutani Ainu Museum. はい。Today I would like to talk about the indigenous rights and importance of Ainu language education. はい。2007年9月13日に先住民族の権利に関する国際連合宣言が採択されました。同宣言の第13条には自らの歴史言語、交渉文学、哲学などを発展される権利及び共同体名、地名、人名を自ら選択し、維持する権利を持っています。えっと、スライド前に戻してもらえますかね、もう一度。はい、ここで。So the um, United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples was adopted in September 13, 2007. Article 13 of that declaration states, Indigenous peoples have the right to revitalize, use, develop, and transmit to future generations their histories, languages, oral traditions, philosophies, writing systems, and literatures, and to designate and retain their own names for communities, places, and persons. え、私の父、茅野茂は、この鈍谷保育所でアイヌ語を教え、アイヌ語を教えるために、最近を寄付し、1982年に設立されましたが、当時の厚生省は保育所は教育機関ではないので、アイヌ語教育はしていけないと通
、えー、日本語の部分ですけども、これ読ませていただきます。アイヌ語教育の現状、2022年1月現在、北海道内のアイヌ語教室、かつては14教室がありましたが、ビラトリ町にぶたにアイヌ語教室、現在は唯一の教室です。1987年に公費によって開校。それ以前は茅の茂るのアイヌ語塾。1983年。現在はアイヌ協会が来たんで。次のスライドお願いします。まあ、これが今読んだ部分ですね。はい。This is what I just、uh, stated and read from the previous Japanese slide.、Uh, the current status of Ainu language education as of January 22. Uh, that the Ainu language classes,、uh, there used to be 14 language classes in Hokkaido. However, currently there is only one Ainu language class at the Biratori Nibutani Ainu language、uh, class.、Uh, it was inaugurated in 1987 with public funding. And previous to that,、uh, my father, Kaya no Shigeru, Ainu,、uh, offered an Ainu language private school、uh, from 1983. At present, Uh, the Ainu language class is operated by the Biratori Ainu Association. So,、uh, the Ainu language education at Nibutani Elementary School has been going on, uh, and uh, from 2015 to 2021,、uh, it, uh, Ainu language uh, was uh, taught in, in the integrated studies classes、uh, in the school curriculum. In 2015, there were five sessions per year. 2016, 10 sessions per year. 2017 to 2021, 10 sessions per year. The target was the third to sixth grade、um, and or all the pupils in the school. Of the 70 hours of integrated studies, 50 hours were applied to Ainu culture, and the instructor、uh, has been、uh, Sekine Kenji or Kenji Sekine. えっ、ー、と、これは、ちょっと待ってください。えっ、ー、と、これは、ニブタニ子供図書館という設備なんで、施設なんですが、1982年に父、かやのひげるは、私立の子供図書館を建てました。この建物で、1983年の6月から、かやのひげるのアイヌ語術がスタートし、地元の小中学生に月2回の土曜日にアイヌ語を教え始めました。So this is the private uh, Nibutani uh, children's library uh, that my father,、uh, Shigeru Kayano, founded in 1982. And from June 1983,、uh, he started the Kayano Shigeru Ainu language class、uh, with Ainu language classes for elementary and middle school students. Two Saturdays a month. はい。それでは次のスライドお願いします。これがその子供図書館の外観です。外から見た様子です。それでは次のスライドお願いします。これがですね、成人部の、成人の部の事業風景でして、2015年頃です。これがニブタニ子供図書館内です。この写真の講師は木端幸子さんという方ですね。えっ、ー、と、向かって右側の方ですね。すいません、柴田ですか木,木端幸子木。木端さん。木端幸子。はい。はい uh, this is the adult language class that is held within the children's library building. And this is from around 2015. Uh, and the person who is teaching the class, the woman in the front who is teaching the class, is Ms. Kibata Sachiko. So, the next slide, I'll ask you. The children who are learning the Ainu language, the Nibutani, 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 the Nib
。これは集会場の一つで、ビラトリ町の施設です。So, this is、uh, the Nibutani Community Hall where children are studying、uh, the Ainu language. And it is a Biratori town、uh, funded facility.、はいねね、so, within that、uh, community hall, Uh, children are learning the Ainu language playing a karuta card game. This is an outside view of the Nibutani Elementary School.、Uh, currently, 18 pupils、uh, study there. Uh, from the first through the sixth grade. So all the pupils at the Nibutani Elementary School are learning Ainu language in the gymnasium. The instructor is Kenji Sekine, and the photo is from about 2017. 神の国から人間の国土へ降ろされた子供の身なりが汚く、子供たちにいじめられた、あいじめられていたが、蛇神が一緒に遊んでくれた結果、子供たちと仲良くなったというお話です。神の子なのでわざと身なりを汚くしています。本当は神様の子供なので、きらびやかな服装なんですけども、わざと身なりを汚くしています。シシリムカは猿側の古い名前。ヘビガミを演じているのは関根健二さん。This is a, a, the Sisilimuka Ainu Cultural Festival that was held on February 20th, 2011. It was a joint drama presented by the students of the children's and adults、uh, Ainu language classes. The figure on the right with white hair is the snake god. The story goes a child sent from the land of the gods down to the land of humans、uh, was kind of dirty and wearing dirty clothes. The human children were mean to him, but after the snake god played with him, the children became friends with the child sent down. And because he was a child of a god, he is purposely dressed in dirty clothes. Normally, you'd think、uh, the child of a god would be dressed in gorgeous、uh, clothing. Uh, but he was purposely、um, wearing dirty clothes. Sisilimuka is the old name for Saru River, and Ken,、uh, Kenji Sekine is playing the role of the snake god. お酒や食べ物を持ってきたところ、みなりの汚い子供は本当は神の子供だったというお話です。So this is the final scene of that story, the god who played with the child. The gods, o k i r u k u r u in me, and m a y u n k u r u k a m a y u n k u r u have come to thank the snake god for playing with the child. Bringing、uh, the snake god sake and food and gratitude. The boy dressed in dirty clothes was actually a child of a god, according to the story. So, the next slide, I'll ask you. This is the 24th of the Sisilimuka Ainu Bunka Sai. This is the 24th of the Sisilimuka Ainu Bunka Sai. ね、ーー 
This was at the 24th Shishirimuka Ainu Festival that was held on February 17th, 2013. And it was the performance of the Fox's Charanke, which means the Fox's arbitration. I am sitting in the chair, fifth from the right, and next to me is my mother, Reiko. え、これは so on December 3rd, 2011, uh, we held the Ainu Cultural Festival, uh, which was presented by the Foundation for Ainu Culture in the small theater at the Asahikawa Civic Culture Hall. We presented The God Who Play With the Child in the Ainu language in a joint production of the children's and adults Ainu language classes. And this is the very last scene of the play uh, where all six gods who are, or six seated people are all gods and they each have different stories uh, to tell. Thank you very much. That's my presentation for today. Thank you very much, Mr. Kayano. Thank you. And uh, um, what he showed us is only a small portion of many activities that he's been working on in Nibutani to revive the Ainu culture and language. But um, it gave us a really um, good sense of uh, what's going on. And it's, it's especially good to see that not only the adults, but children are also actively involved in the activities. Now, I would like to ask. Professor Sakakibara to give comments on uh, Mr. Kayano's talk. As I said, um, Chie will first give her comments in Japanese for about three minutes, I believe. Chie Sensei will give her comment in English after the Japanese version. So please, Chie Sensei. Thank you so much, Habu Sensei. Kayano Sensei, yeah, you like it. You don't care up there, Kanyana Kunia Sakaki Bara Chie Kune. Oh, I did my best, Kambari Masta. Kayano Sensei, Makotoni Arigato Gozai Masta. Minasama Hajime Maste. Um, America no, Syracuse Daiga Kuno, Senji Min Kenkyu Kani Kimus Teorimas, Sakaki Bara Chie to Moshimas. あの、茅野先生に一番最初にお目にかかったのは確かあの、3年ほど前の秋、茅野茂に明治、ごめんすいません。明治41年、西暦だと あ、明治末というのはその明治
あの二豚にの皆さんの文化復興への強い歩みにとってもあの深い感銘を受けたのを今でも強く覚えておりますそれさてあの本日お話しいただきました先住民の権利とアイヌ語教育の重要性の中で一番あの私の心に残ったのはいかにアイヌ語が先住民の現在そしてあの未来のために意味の深い存在であるかという一点です。これはあのもちろん北米先住民の言語でもそうだと思うのですが、あの深く大地に根ざした言語っていうのは、人間と環境の境目のない共同関係を映し出す鏡のようだって私はいつも思ってます。いわゆるあのヨーロッパに起源する、由来する言語が、あの人間中心主義で出来上がっているとしたら例えばそれに比べればアイヌの言葉っていうのは同じ環境を共有する本当にたくさんの命だとかエネルギーが複雑に絡まり合う中でその中で初めて人間が生まれてくる生き続けるというかむしろ生かされ続けることができるすごくそういう謙虚な考えに根ざしているように考え感じられます。それで今、世界的な規模で考えて、植民地主義の歴史と地球環境破壊の歴史っていうのは、悲しいから切り離せないと思うんですが、植民地政策による先住民言語の破壊と生態系の破壊のプロセスのそのつながりっていうのも忘れてはならないと思います。で、今、私たちの住んでいる地球は気候変動だとか、生物種の大量絶滅を伴う、いわゆる人神性、その人の新しい世の中って書く、人間の時代、英語だとアンソロポシンを迎えましたが、茅野先生のおっしゃるような、あこの歴史を見てくると、二豚二ダム裁判を境にして新たに生まれてきた、現代アイヌのアイデンティティだとか、現代を生きるアイヌ文化復興のプロセスの要としてアイヌ語の存在は今後ますます大きくなっていくと思います。それであの次回のこのシリーズでお話になる関根健二先生、あの茅野先生のスライドにも何度かあの登場されましたが、あのそれからあの若い世代の二部隊の人々、関根真也さんたち、茅野茂さんのアイヌ教室で学んできた若い人たちを中心にした地元を軸にしたご活躍からは先住民のコミュニティのすごくこうしなやかで前向きな将来への展望いわゆるレジリエンスですかそういったものを垣間見ることができてあの今後ともぜひともいろいろ学ばせていただくのを心より楽しみにしておりますいやいらいけれでは英語でお願いしますじゃ Kayano says, Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on indigenous rights and importance of the Ainu language education. Hi, everyone. My name is Chia Sakakibara, and I'm associate professor of、um, geography and the environment and indigenous studies and Native American studies at Syracuse University in the United States. It's such an honor for me to be here tonight, well, in the morning in Japan, wherever you are.、Um, It's so nice to meet you. I first met Kayano Sensei about three years ago at the、um, Kayano Shigeru Nibutani Museum、um, when I was affiliated with Obalin College, which is a very small liberal arts college in Northeast Ohio.、Um, Obalin's Allen Memorial Art Museum houses 25 historical photos taken in Nibutani in 1908. And one of them, one of them captured Kayano Sensei's great grandmother, Tekate san. Um, my backgrounds are exclusively in Native American studies and also Arctic studies. So I really had this privilege of learning extensively about the historical and environmental backgrounds of the Nibutani community from Kayano Sensei on the brief visit. And the end of the Meiji period, when the photos were taken, witnessed the systematic and persistent assimilation process of the Ainu population. Following the passage of the Protection Act for the Ainus in Hokkaido of 1899, and also marked the beginning of the socio environmental issues and environmental injustice cases that continue to plague the community to this day. 
So Kayano Sensei's lecture today made me think about the significance of the Ainu language as an icon of cultural and environmental sovereignty for the Ainu people. A language deeply rooted in the environment is something like a mirror that reflects the integrity of the human and the environment. Languages of European origins often centralize the humans, just like the Cartesian, Cartesian tradition that builds upon the separation of nature and culture. But the Ainu language showcases the opposite. It had emerged from the fundamental idea that the humans are born and enabled to exist through the intimate bonding of many lives and agents that collectively share the land and space and time through mutual respect and reciprocity. The histories of colonialism and environmental devastation often go hand in hand, and this is a universal truth. At the same time, the destruction of indigenous languages and transformation of indigenous landscape or ecosystem are inseparable from each other as they are both driven by colonial forces. Today, we've entered Anthropocene, which is a geological epoch in which we have become a force that causes devastating global climate change in a series of mass extinction of species. So in this day and age, what we witness in Hokkaido is how indigenous resilience brings everybody together through the emerging contemporary Ainu voices and identity, which was rooted in the history of the Nibutani Dam, Dam Nosut, and vibrant cultural and linguistic revitalization efforts pursued by Sekine Kenji Sensei, who is our next speaker. Um, and also younger generation of the Nibutani community, including um, Sekine Maya, who used to study with Kayano Sensei's father, Kayano Shigeru, in the Ainu language school, um, which is the hope um, for the future of Ainu Moshiri, Ainu Moshiri, following the legacy of the Kayano family. So, Ia Inaikere, thank you so much. <laughs> Great grandmother. Ah, great grandmother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. I thought, yeah. Okay, so just one qualification. Yeah, Tekate san, yeah, who was captured in the photo that's housed at Oberlin College, is, the, is one of the great grandmothers of Kaya, yeah, Kaya no Sensei. Sounds like I mentioned, introduced her to you as his grandmother, but it's great grandmother, so すいません. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I like it. Eh?